Stampeders, it's Miss P reporting from Port Stanley at the Change Room uh, Washroom near GT's on the beach. And I'm uh, going to do a quick interview with the muralist, uh, Stephanie Butari. So check it out. Stephanie Butari, a mural artist. You call yourself a muralist? Yeah. Muralist, and how did you become a muralist? I actually studied architecture, so even though I always loved art from a very young age, um, I was too scared to pursue it professionally. So I pursued a different creative career entirely, which was architecture. And it wasn't until grad school, doing my master's, that I came across murals. Um, I was really missing art at that point. I had been in school for a long time and I wanted to get back into painting. And so, uh, because our master's thesis is very uh, independent, you can pick whatever topic, I decided to uh, integrate my love of painting and art with architecture through mural painting. And um, ever since then, I became obsessed with painting murals. Um, although after graduating, I went to work for art in an architecture firm for a few years, just doing murals on the side. Um, and then eventually the mural thing picked up and I had enough inquiries and I felt that I was enjoying it more than architecture so I took the leap and left my job. So I've been doing this for about uh, three and a half years. That's it? Yeah, and how many time, but okay. before that it was like here and there. How many murals have you created and where are most of your murals located? Um, uh, I've done approximately 60 murals so 60, far. 60? 6-0? Yeah. Wow. But I mean, different sizes. Uh, so some of are very small. Um, I, uh, StephanieButari.com. Uh, I, I don't have all my murals on there, but just a sort of selection. Um, and I also have an Instagram account, uh, just at StephButari, and that's more regularly updated. And I tend to show more of the kind of behind the scenes process. Well, I was just inspired by the context of the beach and water and sand. So that was my inspiration uh, starting point. Uh, I looked at a lot of images of fish, like large schools of small fish and textures of the sand dunes and oh. just different aquatic life forms. And then I took that and abstracted it and reimagined it to create oh. this kind of, to create a sense of like, it evokes those ideas and makes you think of water. And it does have a lot of movement. So is that yeah. kind of representative of, of the waves and the blowing sand? And Yeah, a bit of that. And also just the kind of, the way it's all layered with all these different um, systems kind of interacting, including humans. Mm. Um, and so I was just hoping to make people think of that, but then also interpret it in their own way and inspire kind of curiosity and imagination you know um, so it's not necessarily literal like oh this is this specific species but um, more kind of open to imagination that's awesome we're so happy you're here and you're the talk of the town right now and thank you for <laughs> taking the time to talk to our parkside students thank you. and uh, I'll come back and and do a film of your finished work so when do you think you'll have it done um, I'm hoping this week. This week? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, depending, hopefully it does, it's not supposed to rain. No, it's supposed to be gorgeous. Days. Yeah. So yeah, I, I estimated about four more days. Um, I still got to do the columns as well. And uh, I'm going to apply a clear coat on the south side. Ah. That, that'll be later. 